Hi, my name is Nina Baxter. I'm a painter from London. Um, I don't know when I started painting. I feel like I've always been painting, but I do remember getting a real fire for it at secondary school with some inspiring art teachers and knowing that I wanted to study art history um, because that had always informed my creative work and then painting alongside my degree knowing that I wanted to paint full time if I could um, after I graduated. Um, my work has changed a lot over the years um, because I started doing um, a lot of abstract painting that was inspired by nature and landscape um, and more recently that's changed and the focus has been on people and um, I paint a lot of pieces inspired by my friends and the people I'm close to. Um, it's definitely more informed by people, how we are with other people and um, how we are on our own and exploring ourselves, I guess. Um, so in the creative process, I take a lot, a lot of photos. <laughs> I take a lot of photos um, when I'm out with my friends or with my partner, um, also still off the landscape and of places that are inspiring or places that I've had um, an important um, event or, or an important time at and um, I'll sort of see places and people as compositions um, sometimes in the moment and be snapping away on my phone to then look back when I'm in my studio at, at these images that I've collected and um, work out sort of series or a connection between them and um, pick out some to work from. Um, I'm working primarily from, from photos that I've taken at the moment. If I could meet any artist in person, oh, there's so many to choose from. I think I would absolutely love to meet Matisse. Um, Bridget Riley. I'd love to talk to Mark Rothko and Jackson Pollock and have a dinner party with them and Lee Krasner and Joan Mitchell. Brancusi, contemporary painters, there's so many I, I'd want to I'd want to sit down with Inez Longevio, with Jenna Gribben, with Chloe Wise. Um, the list is endless, <laughs> let's put it that way. <laughs>